Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Free the Peace Friday special, and we are going to take a look at another Auto World piece. This is Chris Stangler, CS Customs, some Chevy Square Bodies, the DNL Squanger, Stangler, Squanger, Stangler Restoration, Special Edition, one of 2016. Okay, so not a whole ton of these out there. These are probably going to be pretty popular. Um, it is interesting. It's definitely the first Auto World 2-pack of anything. And uh, so that is pretty interesting in and of itself. It is also pretty cool um, that it comes with a trailer. Now, the trailer is a Johnny Lightning uh, tooling um, that we've seen with their like truck and trailer uh, combinations that we've seen in stores already. Um, but this should be pretty darn cool. It looks like we've got a weather truck on the trailer and then we've got a, you know, a truck that's going to pull it. Again, there's 2016 of these out there. There is an ultraret of this. Um, it's going to be pretty tough to get a hold of. Uh, hopefully someday I'll be able to pick it up. There also is going to be a CPCC version so I think that's Central Pennsylvania Collector Con version, uh, which looks like the truck just has red and it's not doesn't have the black uh, stripe on it. I think the rear truck, it's hard to tell, but the rear truck might be very much the same. I'm sure there's some difference. It may not be rusty like this one is. I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell in the photographs, but there's only going to be 504 of those, so that's going to be another thing. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, pick up. Uh, this is kind of some... DNL restoration is dedicated to my two sons, Derek in London uh, Stangler. So that's pretty cool. DNL restorations. We have some custom facts. This is the first time Auto World has paired two vehicles in a trailer in one package. I think it's the first time they ever paired two vehicles in one package. Uh, this dirty version of the 74 stepside pickup was an Auto World first. So that's an Auto World first as well. Um, overall, uh, pretty cool. So if you want to get one of these, I think the, probably the best way to go is to go right to Chris Dangler's website. Um, if you're into it, you could also have him autograph it, I think, as well. He'll send it to you autographed, um, which is kind of a neat little touch if you're into that. Of course, me, uh, I'm not a packaged collector, so I did not opt for the autograph because I would just be cutting this thing open anyway. So we're going to go ahead and free the piece on this auto world. So there we go. Let's go ahead and open it up. Nice clamshell packaging. Oh, the ramp store underneath the trailer. That's pretty cool. That's actually a nice touch, because otherwise I think you'd lose the ramps. Now, I haven't had it. I don't think I bought any, like, the, the truck and trailer um, Johnny Lightnings. Which maybe I should have, because it would have been kind of cool to compare them to uh, the green light hitch and tow. So, there's a couple of things going on with this that are pretty neat. Uh, first of all, of course, we've got a trailer hitch on one of the square bodies, which is kind of neat. Uh, this should go right on here. I want to be kind of careful with it though. There we go. So there's that. There it is. The trailer is actually weathered as well, it appears, which is kind of cool. Um, here's the ramps. These ramps are, I think these ramps are actually metal. So that is kind of neat too. And they kind of fit in here. They fit in there like that. So let's go ahead and um, Let's take a look at this piece by piece. Let's start actually with the trailer. Since I've never reviewed one of these trailers, uh, let's take a peek at it. So uh, as I said, the ramps attach. It looks like they got mud on the trailer, which is pretty awesome. That's a cool little graphic there. Um, and then you've got your, uh, what do they call this thing? Like the trailer jack that actually works. Uh, the nice thing is, is it's got kind of like a stop on it too. So you really won't be able to lose it, which is another nice touch that kind of puts it above the uh, the flatbed uh, green light trailer that's available. This is metal base. Um, again, these ramps are metal. Uh, the wheels are rubber. Tires are kind of overlapping. The rims there, the rims are weathered though, or muddy or whatever. They look pretty cool. Um, 
I think this is metal too. Yeah, and then the top is plastic. Uh, that's quite neat. 164044. So it's got, interestingly enough, it's got like a tooling number of Auto World, but I'm pretty sure this is a Johnny Lightning uh, tooling. Or, well, I think maybe the 164044 is really a round two thing. Since most of the Johnny Lightning, or pretty much all the Johnny Lightning toolings that have come out are previous to um, round two uh, taking over the brand. How do these things fit in here? So it says the ramps can be stored underneath here. Mm, not quite like that. Maybe like this. No. Mm -hmm. What's the correct way to put them in there? Like that. Probably like this. I don't know if they're just supposed to like kind of like sit in there. Maybe. Uh, they fit in kind of tight. probably by design so they're supposed to just uh, pull out I think and then flip them around maybe and put them up here is that how that would go I don't know they don't fit in that way so they have to go in this way um, whether they go like that like, I mean, obviously they would have to go like this right something like that yeah that's cool uh, they're not quite even on there but and that is that's a really cool touch though all right so I'm definitely digging that I'm probably just gonna keep those ramps under there for now why not and then uh, let's take a look at this truck first I think the best one's gonna be the step side actually so let's take a peek at that we'll, we'll save that one for last uh, so here it is pretty basic uh, square bunny truck it's got the uh, standard ride height um the trailer hitch uh it's cool that they put a trailer hitch on this thing but obviously it's pretty massive for the casting that would be my only great with it but they gotta have a way to hitch it anyway and the nice thing about it being like this is it doesn't feel like it's fragile at all it actually feels like it's pretty well engineered as far as being able to you know move stuff around and not be really scared i guess of losing the hitch um, green light does trailer hitches obviously too but uh, they're a little bit more on the fragile side here is the motor looks pretty basic you know all in all the deco looks good I think just the plain old red truck is going to look pretty awesome too CS Customs on the plate uh, Chevrolet in the back it's a pretty solid little square body square body Chevy now the winner for me though is going to be this guy I like weathered stuff. I think it just looks fantastic. And look at this one. Uh, look at how muddy the base is. That looks really cool. It is the standard ride height. Looks like it's got a little bit of bed tilt action going right here. Which it seems the um, for the auto world stuff. It appears you can see the little gap right there. The uh, step side seems to have that issue more than any, more than the, uh, the fleet side. Fleet side usually the bed's on very, very straight. This one for some reason seems to be a little bit tilted. I'm afraid to kind of try to bend it back into shape. Yeah, you can just see that little gap right there. It's not a huge deal, but it's, it's there. Yeah, of course the the gate opens on this one as well but look at this deco <laughs> it's fantastic mismatch wheels great touch looks like there's some tire oh wow did they do that on purpose please tell me they did because if they did that's fantastic they did I think is that for real Hang on. You see that? Look at that tire. There's like no tread on it. And then there's tread on it. No tread. No tread. The back ones look full tread. Is that intentional? That that's like that? If that is intentional, that's a really cool little detail. That's a really fantastic detail, actually. 
that it's missing some tread on the tires. Like the tires were super old. And this is like a barn find, like rusty, whatever. They pulled it out of somewhere and they're going to restore it back to its former glory. Uh, the motor, not weathered. And that's, that's one thing I wish they would do is uh, finish it off with some weathering underneath here it looks very clean under there and obviously if they just pulled this out of somewhere it's not going to look clean under there like i really don't know for sure if this tire thing is is intentional uh but if it is it almost is supposed to like make it look almost like a little bit flatter on the one side and actually it too would double as it being able to sit on the trailer a little bit better once we get it to the flat side of the tire you rock it a lot it's going to fall off but wow that is really cool <laughs> Okay, I really like this piece. I'm I'm a huge fan of this truck in particular. I think this is this is actually super cool. Um, I wasn't so sure about this whole trailer experience with it because it's not to me. I mean, I think it's really Johnny Lightning. At least that's what it's come out in so far has been Johnny Lightning. Uh, this trailer, but I like the way it's uh, it all comes together, how it works and everything. I think it's pretty awesome. This is a pretty cool display piece when it is all together and honestly and when it's separate too Ooh, we got some wheel issues there we go uh, who's that i think that's these ramps here stopping it maybe i'm doing something wrong with the ramps i'm not sure someone comment down below if i am um hold the trailer jack up here Anyway, that's super cool. So it's a cool piece. It's an auto world. Of course, I had to have it. If I can somehow snag an ultra red, I would be super excited to get one. Um, if you go look on eBay for them right now, though, I think there was one posted still. Um, it might not be over by the time you see this, I, or it might be. I'm not sure, but it's uh, it's over two bills already. So that's going to be a really tough one to nab. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching another Free the Peace Friday episode and a special with this Chris. Dangler Customs uh, 1975 and 1974 Chevy pickup with a flatbed trailer. That is a cool model, guys. Really cool. Now I just got to figure out how the heck am I going to display this thing. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.